And next is uh, DPS Regional Director Freeman Martin. Everybody here wants facts, wants information about what's going on, and, uh, and we'd love to provide you more. But if you came here wanting to know the motive behind this shooting, you're going to leave here disappointed. Um, we have fa certain facts that we can release to, pr to protect the integrity of the investigation. We, we have to release it in a, in a timely fashion and collect the facts and make sure our information is, is correct before we release it. We're here assisting the sheriff, Joe Tackett. There's multiple agencies involved, DPS, Texas Rangers, FBI, HSI, ATF, Bear County SO, and many, many others. We are all working together to support the sheriff in this investigation. At approximately 11.20 this morning, a suspect was seen at a Valero gas station in Sutherland Springs, Texas. He was dressed in all black. That suspect crossed the street to the church, uh, exited his vehicle, and began firing at the church. That suspect then moved to the right side of the church and continued to fire. That suspect entered the church and continued to fire. As he exited the church, a local resident grabbed his rifle and engaged that suspect. The suspect dropped his mm -hmm. rifle, which was a Ruger AR assault type rifle, and fled from the church. Uh, our local citizen uh, pursued the suspect at that time. A short time later, as law enforcement responded, that suspect right at the Wilson uh, Guadalupe County line, he ran off the roadway and crashed out and was found de deceased in his vehicle. At that time, we, at this time, we don't know if it was a self-inflicted gunshot wound or if he was shot by our local resident who engaged him in gunfire. <laughs> we know he's deceased in the vehicle. The, the suspect has not been completely identified. He, we believe he's a young white male, maybe in his early 20s. He was dressed in, a, in, in all black tactical type gear and was wearing a ballistic vest. The, the delay in getting him identified is uh, there were multiple weapons in the vehicle and the vehicle has been processed by our Texas Ranger uh, Special Operations Group, uh, uh, Bomb Techs. There's a lot of work to be done in this investig investigation. We know that there are 23 found deceased inside the church, uh, two deceased outside the church, and now one of them that was transported that was injured has deceased, bringing the total to 26. We have approximately 20 that are they're transported local and uh, in hospitals in San Antonio with, with injuries that vary from, from minor to very severe. We know the ages range from five years old to 72 years of age. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. We are only hours into this investigation, which is gonna take uh, a significant length of time. We will continue to pro provide information as it becomes available. We know you're going to have a lot of questions. There are many, many that we cannot answer. Uh, we continue to process crime scenes. We have multiple, multiple crime scenes. We have the church. We have outside the church. We have where the suspect vehicle was located. We have following up on the suspect and, and where he's from, his residence. We have many, many people to interview. We have Texas Rangers at all the hospitals uh, locating those uh, and interviewing those who, who were injured. So uh, not a lot of information to give at this time, but the state of Texas, we have every resource that we have available, Texas Rangers, Special Operations, Texas Highway Patrol Crime Scene Labs, uh, Victim Services, the Texas Division of Emergency Management. Every resource we have available is working. And at the end of this investigation, we'll be able to answer any reasonable question <coughs> as, to, as to what happened. Was and, the neighbor uh, injured? The one that engaged gunfire? No, he was not. With that? Great. Well, thank you all, and, and thanks once again to uh, law enforcement at all levels, from the local level to the state level to the federal level. Uh, the collaborative working relationship is one that will ensure a swift uh, and certain evaluation of exactly what happened, and we will provide that explanation as quickly as possible.